Hello, Cuddly, wherever you are. <clears throat> Excuse me, wherever you are. I hope you're somewhere safe, somewhere warm, surrounded by love, light, happiness, joy, abundance, and filled with so much faith. Real quick, can you do me a favor? If you can hit that like button, please hit share. If you like to share, please hit subscribe and turn that notification bell on to all so you can always be updated whenever I get a message out there for you guys. And if you would like to donate, you do not have to. It's not a requirement, but it is truly appreciated. The information is in the description box down below. And thank you from the bottom of what was all in my heart ahead of time to anybody who chooses to do so. May God bless your beautiful souls tenfold. And thank you so, so much to everyone who has been. Thank you, thank you, thank you. May God bless your beautiful souls tenfold. <laughs> Guys, I apologize about my voice. Um, you guys already know about that. Uh, I have the microphone on. <clears throat> I'm on my cell phone, so... I'm going to put a cough, uh, cough drop in my throat, in my mouth, <laughs> so hopefully it helps with my voice a little bit for you guys. But I have the microphone on, I'm on my regular cell phone, and so far I haven't had any of these issues with the microphone on the cell phone. It just takes a lot longer for the videos to upload on the cell phone because it's filled with spyware. Speaking of, yeah, so today my phone all of a sudden started having all these games, like I don't even play games. Um upload it so it's you know sometimes when someone like mirrors your phone um their shit you'll get their text messages sometimes it's like i guess like the i think it's like when they're both on the phone at the same time or something um sometimes like the the phone will get confused and you'll their their shit will transfer over to your phone and that's what happened i guess that's what happened so i had like games downloaded i un uninstalled the games and everything and more games like came on there and there was some like price line um, app. I don't, I never even fucking used that app before. I deleted that shit again. So, fuck you, whoever's in my cell phone. You little piece of shit. Look at this, whoever's in my cell phone. Go fuck yourself. Have fun in prison. Oh, yeah, they're caught up. Because the 1,000,000% ace source truth has come out. We got the hangman. And, um, <clears throat> and ace of swords. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. Damn. The, um, they, they're caught because of about like the whole one million percent ace of swords truth that's come out about them and what they've been doing to uh karma people what they've been doing to they could have tried to sacrifice you they sacrifice their nuts you're the star and ace of swords truth about who you truly are the star you're very healing very uh, nurturing <coughs> lord jesus sorry excuse me guys <coughs> excuse me guys sorry <clears throat> the truth about who you are has come out. You're the star. You're very healing. You're like happy. The star talks about happiness, spirituality, hope, good fortune, faith. And you could be a star too. So these people are out here, you know, too busy fucking discrediting your name, doing a smear campaign, and everybody sees the million percent, like one million percent, ace source truth about who you truly are, and you're very and the, and the truth about how you are very gifted. You're a spiritual leader. You're very gifted, very in tune. You're dead on. Your, your intuition is completely dead on. You use your spiritual gifts, um, you know, the way God intended you to. And it's good that you're dead on. It's still a source truth here, man. You're beautiful. And this is all about truth and clarity. One million percent uh, truth and clarity about everything that's coming out. And guys, I got Clive, my little Clive Meister is in the building. He's standing right next to me. I'm glad that they can help you. Your spirit, 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 your <clears throat> somebody could wear glasses, somebody could have a beard, somebody could have brown eyes, somebody could wear suits. But it's a group, somebody could smoke, welcome to Five of White, <laughs> or they could smoke weed. And yeah, but there's a, uh, this group, um, this group, this cult, this covenant, the secret society, whatever this is, uh, cult coven, whatever the fuck it is, they lost their protection. Six of Swords. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Six of Swords. <clears throat> um, you moved away from them. You're moving away from them. 
Did he cross body of water? Were they moved? He moved or they moved by the cups? <clears throat> During grief, pain, sorrow, and agony. Because you moved, I'm guess I'm guessing it's what it is. Yeah, antenna cups is your family. Or a karmic family. Face of cups. You're getting a your your cup's gonna be overflowing with love. Ten of Pentacles is an inheritance. Something about a fucking inheritance, man. You're getting justice for it. They're watching you. And fortune like they're spying on you, but they didn't realize they're also being spied on spying on you. By the, they're being watched by the cops. Like the feds or something. And it's karma, wheel of fortune. You're getting good luck, fortune, you know. Um, the wheel you're getting good karma. These people are getting bad karma for what they've done to you and they have no protection. And I'm strongly getting they were supposed to come in with some sort of information to you that they refuse to do. They're trying to outrun, um, you know, the, like the out, trying to outrun the wall or trying to outrun, like, you know, uh, their karma. Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles here. Seven of Pentacles talks about, you know, uh, investments or like the seeds that you plant and watching it grow. So whatever seeds you're planting, they're growing, they're flourishing beautifully. But these motherfuckers have lost their, their protection, um, possibly even their gifts because of what they invested in. Oh, Lord Jesus. My throat. Um, what they invested in, you know, negatively against you and also other people. People are also, like, starting to turn on each other, um, two of swords. They try to block you, and your investments are trying to block you. And whatever, like, seeds you got going on or you're, that you're planning, they're trying to block this shit. They didn't block nothing. They have to make a choice now. There's a choice that has to be made. Yeah, because they're going to prison. They're, and like I said, like, <laughs> alright, we have the eight of swords here. This is prison. They're in a mental prison right now. Somebody could have got locked up that was in this group called Coven for what they invested in and, were, and trying to block, you know, block you and your forward movement and everything. They're all fighting amongst each other because they all know we have five of wands here. They're fighting with each other because they, they know they're going to prison for their actions, what they have done to you. Mm -hmm. And they're like... They're starting to, like, people are starting to leave each other. They're turning on each other. They're telling on each other. Um, they're walking away from each other. Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, Angels, Ancestors, Holy Spirit, Spirit. Yeah, the moon. Something's happening that, that, uh, there's something that's about to go down that they don't see coming. It's a lot of dirty, it's from all their dirty fucking secrets that they have been doing to you, all the manipulation, all the evilness, all the betrayals, um, that they've been doing, alright, they were trying to block this and keep this hidden, they ain't, nah, they're shady investments, they ain't keep nothing hidden, this shit's coming out, and there's something that's about to happen to them that they, that they don't see coming. Ten of Cups, your own fucking family members. Your, your family was fucking grouping up with these motherfuckers. This group, you know, some of your family, this could be your fucking family, I don't know. It's in the group called Coven, some gang, some secret society, some shit, I don't fucking know. A club. Could be a church, could be anything. There's a lot of betrayals, a lot of secrets. They were trying to block you, and they're trying to block, you know, your, you coming, you know, your, like, you coming into union, and... They're trying to send a tax to your family, to your, like, this group called Coven was. There's some really large shit fucking hidden. Some dark secrets in your family you're about to find out about. Or people that you consider to be family. So I'm trying to get into your family. Or it doesn't have to be all of them, but some people in your family. Six of Pentacles. You were very generous to these people. 
five of pentacles now that are left out in the cold all right um this could be your ex or a couple uh, i don't know but um six of pentacles god's gonna be blessing your pockets beautifully like to the point where you're gonna be able to bless other people's pockets okay and you it's it's probably given like you're gonna sue these people for what they've done and also um you know if there's if we'll just wait till it comes out we'll just wait till it comes out i know it's gonna come out but king of swords you're protected from them your family's protected you're protected you know like the family that's not karmic you're you know you and your family you know the ones that ain't car um, that are not karmic are protected from this group cult secret society coven church luciferians whatever the fuck these people are that were coming up against you holy spirit divine spirit angels the ancestors the loved ones passed away what is the collective yeah page of swords they're being watched. They're spying on you. They were being watched, and they're they're watching your investments too. They're watching you grow, or your seeds that you're planting. They're watching it grow. They're trying to block this shit. They ain't blocking shit, okay? Um, but you also this is like a a protection order or something, like a law enforcement or something that's protecting you. From these people as well of course you're like protected by god you know i mean spiritually you're protected but you also have like some sort of law enforcement um protecting you as well from these people that's watching what they've been doing what they've been their dark dirty secrets that they've been um doing uh and they're invest what they've been investing against you and other people too like i said they're watching you but they're also being watched watching you and everything that they've been doing What does the collective need to know? What do they need to be aware of at this time? Comes to you? They want to apologize. Page of Cups here. We're trying to block. They're trying. It's your. They're for. They want to apologize. Okay, it could be your fucking dumbass ex. Um, for trying to block your union and trying to, you know, block your. You know block you in any way or whatever but somebody wants to apologize they're being very very childish here and they realize this they've come to the realization that how childish these fucking these people are but they're watching you know the justice system too is watch them be childish and you know and they're watching your ex for sure going to be getting that message soon you're going to be hearing about how these people are stalking you spying on you you already know this because you're a spiritual leader you're very gifted a high priestess they're all fighting about your your spiritual gifts too and your knowledge and your wisdom your dumbass ex the dumbest piece of crap ex that's going to prison and they're like in established energy they're obsessed with your new beginnings obsessed with you and what you got going on holy spirit divine spirit oh you're also gonna be getting like a message about like um about like you coming into union too so like you're gonna be getting a royal love offer coming in five swords then they're also being watched you know um Coming in, like your your family and this group cult secret society, your ex and everybody that's involved in this, they're being watched, uh, being very childish and fucking, you know, your ex too, like coming in. They know about the justice system, knows about how your family paid your ex to come in with, you know, a false ass cup of love and to smile in your face, stab you in the back. Um, and they, they did this in secret to try to block you. And I already know what this is. It's just inheritance. I already know this what the fuck it is. They know, um, the justice system knows about this. And I'm also getting somebody went to the justice system and told on these motherfuckers. We have six of pentacles again. And they, the justice system knows that you're a very, you know, generous, loving, nurturing, caring person. That you're, you know, you're a very good person. Like, even when you don't have it, you still help other people out.
there's gonna be two people telling so far at least at least at, at very very least two people that went to the authorities at very very least that told on these groups they're all like telling on each other though okay because people are getting picked up and they're like they're trying to there it's like a you know the rat race who can get Whoever can get the, the the most information about these people first um, is going to get the better deal. You know what I mean? So they're all running to the police, telling the police, you know. They're telling on each other about this, trying to get the best deal. Oh, and that's another thing. Like, they know that, uh, or nation, excuse me, the, um, the justice knows, too, that your ex was was paid to come in by your family, your karmic family, to give you this, you know, this child, this fishy love offer, um, the smile in your face, stab you in your back to try to block you from getting this. I already know it's an inheritance because they know that you're going to get blessed. The Six of Pentacles, um, by God, is, is a generous amount. Um, it's an inheritance. I know, I already know that's what this is. But they, you know, to do this for your inheritance, to try to, you know, to get close to you, to distract you, to try to block you, from knowing anything about this, okay, about this inheritance and stuff, and, and, um, to discredit your name, to get you to, to, like, to set you up to make you look like you're crazy and shit, uh, because, you know, they set things up, they set up, like, incidences, you know, um, where you would look crazy to other people, but they, like, it, you know, it, to, like, on the outside, you would look crazy, but it's because they're setting it up. Somebody could, like, the game chat, like, like, to play chess, like, the game chess thing, man. But they didn't realize they're fucking, this main person's pawn, like, all these people are just pawns in this game. And they're all about to get knocked the fuck on over. They thought they were real sick, they thought they were real fucking, um, you know, they are real smart. They thought they were some sort of mastermind. And the, and the cops know that they ain't, no, they ain't shit. But let me just make that very clear, Carmen's. Y'all ain't shit. You ain't never been shit. You ain't ever gonna be shit. Like, you can go fuck yourselves because you're gonna go have a nice time in prison and hell. Okay? You need to cut the fuck alone. How about y'all get a fucking job instead of sitting here trying to unalive people for that, what they got going on and trying to set people up and bring people. You ain't shit. You ain't never been shit. You ain't never gonna be shit. Go fuck yourselves. You need to fucking collect the alone. Plain as simple. Yeah, these evil ass motherfuckers, this ex of yours, for sure. Yep, they were sent to you. Oh yeah, that's what I'm saying. My bad. That's why I started reading about how these karmics ain't shit because they ain't. But uh, about how they were paid to come in, like, and their plan. They know about the whole plan. The plan was to come and smile on your face, stab you in the back, try to block you, discredit you, make you look crazy, so they can go to the justice system. And say that you're crazy or unfit, uh, and steal your inheritance, that you can't take care of yourself, that this, that, the other, and to try to plan to unalive you. And if you were to, or just like doctor up information on a fake will, someone's can name be, someone's name could be Will, William, Bill, Billy, Williams, um, but to do that and like, or just to say that, you know, you're crazy and you can't take care of your yourself and if and if anybody um some of them they just went in and, and they changed the will on you or they they doctored the will they changed it someone could be a doctor um you know what i mean but uh they also had to make you look crazy and they set things up to make you look crazy so that if you ever caught on to what they were doing nobody would believe you like everybody would be like yo that's just crazy bitch over there like what are you talking about like you know no you're not crazy you're not crazy at all you're very intuitive, you know what the fuck's going on, um, and there are days of doing this shit to people, because that's why this is happening, this is why this, is, this inheritance thing is coming out all the time, because it's happening to a lot of us, because these scumbags, this group called Coven, they target us, all right, they target us, and this is what they do, this is their job, well, have fun in prison, bitch, okay, because your, your job has been over, you've been fucking fired, your company is now fucking gone under, goodbye, See you. Have fucking fun in hell. Holy Spirit. Your 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 company has gone bankrupt. Sorry. Foreclosure, bitch. Seized assets, I just heard. And your your bank accounts are they're, they're, they're gonna have like your assets seized. Uh you know they have fake accounts. 
Uh, they, I mean, they had bank accounts overseas. They could possibly be in your names. The, the justice system knows about this, and they, they don't, I don't even think they realize that they know. They don't think they, they know there's something hidden. Remember, like I said, there's something hidden that these scumbags don't know about yet. And then, like, there's, like, they had, they think they're so slick, they think they're so smart. They had, the, they had, like, these um, bank accounts hidden overseas. They think that where it's at, that it's untraceable, they can't get to it. The justice system knows about it. They already know about it. Four of Swords. You healed from whatever this was. They're praying for new beginnings. They ain't getting new beginnings. They're getting Tower of Swords. They're getting, well, you're getting passionate new beginnings. They're getting... <laughs> <laughs> They're getting towers, chaos, destruction of people in their hand. <laughs> Ten of swords, painful, permanent ending. Fucking losers. The fuck they thought they were gonna just sit here and, and play, like, you know, do this devil shit to God's people? Are you fucking dumb? You dumb. Then they, they don't realize, like, God placed us in these people's lives be, to take these people down unbeknownst to us. Because they've been doing this shit to people for way too long. So God had to place his earth angels because he knew that, you know, we were strong enough. He gave us enough strength, enough courage, enough faith to be able to withstand this and to end up taking these motherfuckers down. And that's exactly what's happening. Year 2024, year of karma, the year of the eight, the year of the dragon. What goes around comes around. Now, whatever you've been putting out in this world is what you're going to get back. These people have been putting out evil shit and unaliving people for money, for greed, doing devilish shit, selling their souls. Well, guess what? Now is the time the devil's coming to collect your souls. Well, we don't even have the souls anymore, but they'll collect your bodies, okay? <laughs> they're coming to collect their, and they're going to prison, you know? Like, a lot of them are going to pass away, but, like, they're all going to eventually pass away go to hell. But, um, but, like, that's going to be too easy for them to just pass away. So God's going to make sure that, you know, a lot of them end up going to prison and have a hard time in prison depending on how bad or what they've done but there are you know you can still do evil shit behind bars people so those people god's gonna just take out you know what i mean some of them they're gonna end up passing away uh either before they get to prison or shortly after they're gonna end up getting unalive because that's what they've been doing to other people so what they've been doing to other people is what's coming back to them especially whatever they're doing to the collective okay whatever they did to you it's coming back to them tenfold they try to unalive you now that's happening to them like, they were, they were drugging us, they were poisoning us, right? Well, you best believe that's what's happening to them. Some of us, they R-A-P-E-D, um, that's going to happen to them. Or they wanted us to be R-A-P-E-D, that's going to happen to them. You know what I mean? They wanted, they, they had people, they discredited our name, they did that whole smear campaign, and they, they fucking, um, turned everybody against us and had people leave us now that's what's happening to them everybody's running away from them their true colors are being um the mask is off mask off you know what i mean everyone's seeing them for who they truly are the evil pieces just that they truly are and our our names are being we're being vindicated people are, you know all the lies that are being spread about us it's being cleared up and the truth about them is being seen and the truth about us is being seen See, at least when they were going around doing a smear campaign about us, at least it was lies. You know what I mean? At least it was lies. Okay? No. Now they're going to have to sit in cold, hard facts that this is truly who you are. And that's the worst thing for these people. They can't be themselves. That's their biggest fear is to be themselves. They don't even know who they are. Their biggest fear is people like finding out who they truly are. And they hide behind masks, and that's why they hate us so much, because we're so genuine, we're so authentic, we don't care what people think. God made us that way for a reason. You know what I mean? We don't care what people say about us, what people think about us, because we know our true nature, we know our true selves, and God knows who we are. So it doesn't matter what one person says or thinks about us. It doesn't fucking matter. All right, And they hate that about us. Uh, you know, they hate that. We absolutely hate that because they want so bad, they wish so bad they could be us. That, like, you know, they could be themselves, but they can't because they're a horrible person. They can't let people know that they're over here. They're thieves, they're liars, they're manipulators, they're narcissists, that they're R-A-P-E-Rs. And, like, you know what I mean? And and that they, they do things to children. Um, they can't, they, they can't, they, you know, even though that that's what they do, though, right? They think that shit's okay to do, but... But then yet, they don't want anybody to know they're doing it. 
like get your life together and help me you won't even make sense don't do shit to other people you wouldn't want done to you and especially go around trying to like lie on people that are very good fucking people now you're now you push the good people away from you the blessing away from you and now you're surrounded by a whole bunch of snakes that do the same thing you do to, uh, to, to, to what they do to us to good people so now you don't even have no good people around you you have nothing but you know fellow snakes around you that are just you know they're doing the same thing to them that they did to us but worse and now they're all scared about their mask being ripped off so they're all running to the police like all right no no, no let me get this deal because they know what their fate's gonna be they know what their fate is is prison and hell and they're like all right well if i get to the cops first and i tell them what's going on first then you know I'll then 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 i'll get less of a time or maybe like they won't find out about this this is this is a bad that that you know what i mean maybe they'll put me in protective custody and they'll they'll hide me somewhere and i'll get a new identity you know what i mean that's what they're trying to do and that's exactly what's happening here and the ones passed away ace cops you're getting this beautiful loving um cup of love it's it's you know it's your the wheel um is your divine counterpart coming in your cup's going to be overflowing with love and you're going to have this happy home happy family everything with your divine counterpart they don't want to run from you they want to be with you they want you to own you and this is like group cult secret society and your karmic family members that were against you um tried so hard to get them to run from you they don't want to run no more they, they want to be with you they know intuitively they went inward they went with they instead of listening to other people they went inwards and they found out that you are their divine counterpart yeah okay so now these assholes are being watched right um trying to unalive you right and all their dirty dark secrets they've been doing we have the hermit there's a there's something they were being watched about an actual physical death there's something about a death here it's a complete just end of a cycle they tried to end like your 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 wheel of like your wheel of fortune you're like you you know you're new beginnings and everything else they hmm, confirmation excuse me ain't your your love offer no fuck that they're done it's a wrap all right, they're also being watched about something about a, 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 a actual physical death in the world. I'm totally getting. Remember, I've been telling you about this fucking um, snuff films. I'm totally getting there's something about a snuff film here that they were being watched. They know about. Like, I'm looking at this like the cameras in the house. And just what, by looking at these cars, I'm really getting this. And they plan to do this to you. And with it being over the world card, the death card. Yeah. There's something about a death and it's like on the internet or something that's why i'm trying to think that that's, that's why I'm, i mean that's why, why i'm thinking it's like a, um a snuff film or something that's been discovered that they've done to other people they are planning on doing to you they could they could be telling someone one of these one of these rats right here could be telling um hold on one second someone's on my fucking phone someone's scamming me But yeah, they're being um they're being watched trying to plan your death too. And there's this is also given a serial killer. There there somebody it's like a hitman or something. They go around the world on a live and like they they there's like a worldwide fucking um a hitman. They could they you could know this intuitively, something about this intuitively, they're fighting amongst each other. Um, your spiritual leader, but yeah, the cops know something about this hitman that will travel, they'll travel the world to unalive people. They're being watched. Maybe the hitman got caught. The hitman could have got, got, um, picked up, or they could have ordered a hitman on the internet. Because the world talk, the world card also talks about internet, um, social media. They could have went on the dark web, you know, your karmic family or this cult coven, and went and got a hitman uh on the dark web to try to unalive you and it, it was a fucking police officer something like that's happening either they went on the dark web and, and it was a fucking cop that they went on the dark web to get it to, to get somebody to unalive you or it's a serial killer um that that's being you know what i mean it's a hitman or a serial killer or something like that 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 guy caught up and they're telling on on the whole group called coven something like that's happening here 
and there's definitely something about the dark web and there's something about these snuff films too that they're being discovered as well and they were attempting to do it to you as well somebody could live in the woods somebody could wear black like those black pea coats or like black trench coats or something like that somebody could wear like leather jackets it could be you, it could be somebody involved in the situation. Somebody could have black hair, like a masculine with like longer black hair. Also, um, there's a masculine that uh, dresses in drag. I feel like it's an ex of yours. They, they dress up, but like it's one of their hidden secrets. They don't want anybody to know about this. That's coming out too. There's something, something weird like that. I don't know. Something like that's happening. Some weird shit like that's happening. Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, Angels. Ancestors and loved ones have passed away. What does the collective need to know? What do we need to be aware of at this time? Please bring them here. They're under heavy judgment. Yup, this whole group, cold cousin. Your ex, everybody involved, your your karmic family, everybody involved in this is under heavy judgment for what they did to you, and you're protected. They try to get you. They 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 went to the police, made up false fucking reports about you, to try to get you locked up, and they said that you're crazy, so they can steal. You know, I already know it's the inheritance, it's their inheritance from you, and um, the truth that's come out about this, and there's something that's that's happening that they don't see coming. And it's like I, with the five of swords, like, and it's hidden. There's somebody in their group called Coven um, that's setting these people up. It could be two people, it could be even more. But I'm strongly like, getting that, like, and it's, they, or there could even be a cop um, that's undercover. And I'm strongly getting that one. There's an undercover cop that's in this group called Coven that's taking them down. Like, they've been undercover this whole time. And they don't see this coming. And they're about to stab them in the back and take down this whole... This is like that. This has been a very long investigation. A very long investigation. Years. It's been going on for quite a few years. It could have been 10 years. It could be longer. Could be seven to ten years. I'm getting. It could have went on for. It's a huge case, guys. So they're um, and I'm strongly getting it. They don't see this coming either. They're gonna. They're gonna. They're. They're blinded by this. They have no idea. But it's somebody. And like what I'm getting is, it's somebody like, all right, um, like high up too. But they were set in. To get close to these people. So yeah, they did crimes, but they had to do it. Because, you know, they were actually really a cop. They are actually a law enforcement. And um, they were sent in to dismantle this whole group called Coven. But they had to go in undercover. So I'm strongly getting, it could be 7 years, it could be 10 years. That, uh, that, that they'd been undercover. And this person was actually protecting you. But like you might think that this is a karmic, but it's actually it was a, it was a cop protecting you. I don't think this might be hidden from you too. I feel like this might even be hidden from you. I'm strongly getting that. And but they also have they have somebody undercover, and they also have two people that are like telling on the group called Coven as well that are just snitching. But I don't even think they, these two snitches don't know that this person's undercover. But like, yeah, say like they're the, um, uh, whatever it is, like, it's somebody high up, like, in like, you know, in clubs, it would be like the president or something like that, or, you know, the, you know like the sergeant arms, or something, something like that's going on. But it's like, it's, I don't know what this group is, what this cold is, what this coven is. It's, it's, I don't know what, what type of group called coven it is. It could be a fucking church. I don't know. But, uh. That's what's happening here. There's somebody deep undercover, and there's also at least two people 
that don't know that this one person is somebody high up that everybody like they're going to be shocked it's it's hidden from them they're going to be shocked when they find out who this is who the cop actually is it's making me think of donnie darko is it donnie darko or donnie brasco donnie brasco right when um that mob remember that movie remember it's donnie darko or donnie? one is a tripping movie and one is um uh is the one when he was a the mobster and ever like nobody believed and that's a that's based on a true story too nobody believed that donnie was oh maybe the person's name is donnie um uh they nobody believed even after they got arrested that donnie was uh was a cop but but he was confirmation you heard clyde So the, 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 the cop's name could possibly be Donnie, or Donnie could be one of the rats. But there's a, at least, there's either, it's either the cop's name is, is Donnie, or one of the rats' names. Oh, I accidentally, I'm going to say cop instead of rat, so maybe the rat, one of the rats' name is Don, Donald, Donnie. I'm getting that so deep in my soul. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit. Like, do you remember that? Y'all seen that movie? If you didn't see that movie, watch that movie. That's a good-ass movie. That's a really good movie. I love that movie. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit. Angels, angels, angels. But if somebody like that, like in that movie, if y'all seen that movie, everybody was shocked. And that's based on a true story, too. I know it was coming. I knew it was coming out. Ten Pentacles. Inheritance. Like, I already told you. I already knew it. They're under judgment for stealing this inheritance from you. They're being watched. You're getting justice for this. Wheel of fortune. What goes around comes around. Karma's here. You're getting good karma's again bad. God's balancing everything out. And justice is balancing everything out for you. Holy Spirit. I already told you. I, was, I, already, I knew. I already knew what it was. I could feel the energies. Like, the energies all felt like, you know, where, like, I was already feeling the energies. Like, you know, uh, they were, I already knew what it was. The same energies were coming out, so I knew what it was. This is hitting for And it's going to keep coming out because, you know, there's going to be more things that, you know, um, that are, were uncovered since the last time. You know what I mean? That's going to come out now. Where maybe, you know, because I'm also getting more people watching this channel. So there's maybe, or maybe there's just something that you missed that you have to, you know, that you're going to pick up on this reading. You know what I mean? It's stuff like that's going to happen. Plus, there's so many people going on, like I said, that's dealing with this situation because it's a whole group called excuse me, Confirmation Secret Society, um, that, uh, that's doing this, they, they scout people like us out, that, and, because they know, you know, they, they study our birth chart, um, and they know what we're destined for, or they'll know, like, you know, they'll know, are you're, you're, you're in for an inheritance, you know what I mean, or something about the government involved, somebody could be in a, I don't know, something about the government, I don't want to tap into that, uh, but there's, you know what I mean, it could be the cop that's undercover, that's, you know, they could be in the CIA, that could be it, um, some sort of law enforcement, but they're, or they're, or they're fed, they're, C, like, in the CIA, secrets, like, they're, um, the, uh, we call it the military or something like that, but, like, it, they're undercover, you know what I mean? They're deep, deep undercover. Yeah, you know this intuitively. You're a high priestess, you use your, they're trying to end your spiritual gifts, too, but it's a completion to end up a cycle for that to happen. You know, and they know this intuitively inside the hermit. They try to um, unalive you for your spiritual gifts, too. They try to do some sort of destiny swap. They fucked around and found out that they, they did try to destiny swap a whole earth angel. That shit wasn't ever going to happen. They got you fucked up. <laughs> and they're under judgment for that as well. And the authorities know about this, too, because, like, the authorities know about everything about this secret society group called Covenant because their main guy is actually an officer. Their their leader is, like, either their leader or their, like, second to highest person is, you know what I mean, is is a cop. So they know everything. They're just getting more, you know what I mean? They're just doing what they gotta do. It's been a very long investigation. 
but these people are into like so much stuff that's why and they keep adding more people to it they're just making sure they're bringing everybody to justice but now they now you're in it you're in your purpose and everything else like and the more everybody gets in their purpose they're more they're gonna you know what i mean they you know, you know what i'm saying got down to everything else and the justice system is bouncing everything out for you these motherfuckers thought they were slick hell no they ain't slick look around find out they're, they're um, you know pricing or whatever it is whatever this yeah they can't sleep at night they're scared to death they're crying because they know they're under judgment i just had like a um it just felt like a a, a brush of wind that went right across my forehead i had my robe on i had my hood up but um i just felt like it felt like somebody went like this it was like right across my like right across my forehead like you know you would feel the wind like passing um it's gonna be yeah, okay i see what this is it's gonna be like a smack in their face when they find out who this is who this uh you know because yeah with the higher things in the upright too because he is he's actually a good person he's a he's a cop that's just undercover like you might actually hate this person because you thought that they were against you but no they're actually protecting you you're going to be it, it's hidden from you too you're going to be shocked when you find out who this person is you're going to forgive this person because you're going to find out um that they were actually protecting you this whole time they might have had to play like they were against you because they were you know they had to play the role you know what i mean you're going to find out though everything is going to uh come out all right like this is like the only person i'm going to say and anybody in your past that you you cut off, uh, this is the only person I'm going to say that would be okay to take back is this person because it's actually an undercover cop that's not crooked. They're not shady. They were sent in by God to dismantle this group cold coven. That's exactly what this especially is. This is 1,000,000% what it is. And I have a feeling that you might, like, you, you... You might not even know this person, but some of you, you do, and you hate this motherfucker right now. But it's only because you thought they were doing you really dirty. But you're going to find out that, no, they were actually protecting you. It's hidden. Confirmation. But this person is the only one I'm saying in your past, you know, that came up against, like, this is the only one that you're going to be forgiving. Or two that is okay to forgive because it, they're actually an earth angel that's hidden you know it's it's an earth angel that was sent here that to to take down this you know in the in the justice system to take down you know they were that was their part you know what the part of their mission here to come you know was to come just like how god placed us here to dismantle them too like this was that they're like the main character in this thing you know what i mean they're what's gonna get this whole this whole you know thing shut down because they know all the facts they've been writing like look how he has this little book here this is like the book of knowledge that he's writing all their deeds and that's why like they had to do yeah they had to do crimes and stuff because they but they had to they're undercover they had to do this um to get their status up so they can get closer so they can get all this confirmation this is why it took so long too they had to get their status so that they could get to the position where they got all the information because you know just like in any any in anything in any organization at all like like there's you know, like the uh like the uh what do you call it the people that are just coming in um don't know what like you know what the what the president knows you know what i mean like the, the people that are just coming in don't know like the the, the the we'll say like the president of the united states like they he knows way more there's also people that go you know but you know what i'm trying to say here so like they had to do yes crimes and stuff but a lot of their crimes were fake they, they didn't even really do them it was like also a place where it looked like they did them and they really didn't do it but they did have to do some crimes though they did but it was for you know a bigger cause for the bigger picture to take down and dismantle this whole place this whole group of, um, whatever it is in society so it looks like you are going to be uh having somebody in this group but it's only that cop okay they're fighting amongst each other they're deep racial pain they can't sleep at night they're fighting amongst each other all right because they realize yeah your ex they intuitively know look yeah they're fighting amongst each other your ex because they intuitively know it's a complete ending to them and that you indeed 
know what the fuck is going on. Yeah, they they intuitively know it's an ending. It's a it's the you know it's a death. It's ending. It's a completion. End of a cycle. And that you know everything, or damn near close to everything about them and how they're this group cult whatever it is like you know devil worshippers and something about a house. Damn, that's crazy. That's the first time I got this download. Like this. Like this deep. Like, you know, I got peering about like them right on each other. But no, this is like, this is why this is coming out right now too. And this is why Spirit told me to take out these cards. That's crazy. Literally, if you didn't see that movie, it's Donnie, Donnie Brasco, right? Donnie Brasco. It's either Donnie Brasco or Donnie Darko. I think it's Donnie Brasco. I think Donnie Darko is the one with the rabbit. But go watch that movie. You'll know exactly what I'm talking about when you watch the movie. It's like that. And they're all going to be like, it's going to be like a slap in the face, like how I felt that. Yeah, Seven of Swords. Your family stole whatever your family stole. They were being watched too. They're, um, steal their deep emotional pain they can't sleep at night they're scared their their karmic family for what they stole from you it's an inheritance they're being real childish when they're doing they're trying to block you and from getting this inheritance they already knew, like the, they know about this seven yeah you're protected from whatever whatever they stole seven of wands um we have seven seven right here too 97 can be significant 72 can be significant But yeah, whatever they stole from you is protected. You're protected. Please bear to my spirit and kill the ancestors on the past year. What is the fuck in the end? It might be right out at this time. Just not yet. Ten of Swords, eight of Wow. Yeah, painful permanent endings to them holding on to whatever they stole from you. And it's hidden too. It's hidden that it's... There's something hidden. Hold on. Ace, hold on a second, guys. Hold on. Ace of Swords followed by the Tower. Maybe it's hidden from you that it's completely over. Like, from them smiling in your face, tapping you in the back, you don't realize this yet, how over it truly is. And, like I said, with this person that's actually the cop that's high up in it. Oh, no, I see what this is. Okay. So, there's somebody in there. They're fighting amongst each other, okay? Um, if this was hidden, someone's actually going to pass away here. And is somebody, they're going to fight amongst each other. Maybe they're going to find, maybe it's one of these rats. Someone's going to find out about one of these snitches. It's not going to be the officer. The officer is an earth, like the person is deep undercover. They're an earth angel. They're protected. They're not going to, they're not going to happen to them. But, um, I think it's one of these rats, maybe. Somebody is going to find out about these rats. Oh, shit. Yeah, this one right here, possibly. Uh, the one that's been spying on you and shit. They're going to find out. They don't realize someone's smiling in their face and going to stab them in the back. And they're going to do it painfully and permanently. Like, it's going to be like they're going to unalive them. They don't see this coming. They don't see it. They, they're actually going to pass away. And it's going to be part of their backfire. It's this karma. And this person wants a new beginning with you. Okay? This officer, um, it might not, like, it might just be a friendship. I don't know what it is, but you are going to have a new beginning with this person. Because you're going to find out the bigger picture and see what's going on here. Because they were actually an earth angel. You are going to have, they could be a family member. It could be a family member of yours. That's actually, you, know, you have no idea what's really, you know what I mean? It could be, or someone you consider to be family. You are going to have a new beginning with them. Because they're actually protecting you. And it's actually a cop. And to the rest of these people, um, this group called Coven, you know, everybody else in there, it's tower, chaos, destruction, of people, mayhem for them. They're they're going down, and for whatever they did about spying on you and shit, 
it's over. The cops know about this, you know, all this is over. It could be four rats, because I'm seeing these two snitches right here, and then the, these two rats right here. It could be four people telling, plus officer, also the officer that's here. There's an officer here that's undercover, doing undercover, uh, heat undercover, um, and there's could be possibly four people all trying to scurry around, trying to get each other out of this, um, out of like trying to you know escape their fate because they all know they're under judgment. They know you're protected. They're all trying to get new beginnings, right? They're not trying to be locked up for the rest of their life. They're not. They're trying to not get the death penalty because there are um, actual physical deaths that are involved here. So confirmation. They're trying to maybe like escape the. Uh, Somebody could be trying to escape. They might be trying to escape the death penalty and get like life in prison or with a chance of parole possibly. Because they know what they were invested in. They know it's it's a rat for them. So there's four I feel like there's four four people telling on each other. This one officer who's actually an earth angel, who is like the highest up. That you're either it could be either a family member or it could be somebody you are going to consider to be family once you find out this person's actually um, been protecting you the whole time. You're going to end up having a new beginning with this person. And I'm, I feel like it's like you're going to become more like family, okay? Because once you find out that it was actually a cop that's been, you know, and the only reason why, you know, you made this far and everything was because, well, first and foremost, because of God um, and the angels and ancestors and the ones that passed away. But the, but this one has been, like, really um, protecting you in the 3D because they're a cop, you know what I mean? And they were sent here by God, too, to do this. Like, this was their mission, part of their mission. That's beautiful. Huh. And these people, like, to, for the rest of this group, go cut them. They're caught. And they're in trouble. They're also having towers for trying to sacrifice the fucking empress. You're an empress. They're going to prison for this shit. For what they've done. And you could be moving forward with, like, you're progressing in whatever you're doing. You could be absolutely, like, um, actually moving. with coming into union with your divine counterpart and moving with them. The king of Cups here. You could be the King of Cups or they could... Like you could be, you could be the King of Cups, or your, your divine counterpart could be the King of Cups. Put the roles already fit, you know what I mean? But they're caught, and they and, and inside they 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 know intuitively they know too that you are the Empress. You are very creative. You are very fertile. They tried to sacrifice you for your creativity, for your fertility as well, for your wisdom, for your knowledge, for your sacred wisdom and knowledge that you carry. Holy Spirit, divine Spirit. Angels, ancestors, no one's passed away. What does it, somebody's definitely getting a death penalty. Because I'm like looking at this as like the guild member back in the day when they would like chop their heads off like back back in the day. Um, and then like back in the day when they would hang a person. Like somebody's going to get the death penalty. People, and that's what, like I said, that's what, why everybody's telling each other because they're trying to at least escape the death penalty and try and get like, you know, either life in prison or... Um, you know, uh, I don't know, how, whatever, with it maybe a possibility of one day when they're like 100 years old, possibly be able to get paroled out. I don't fucking know. But it's one thing to have, like, to be in prison for the rest of your life. It's another thing to be on a death, like, to get a death sentence. To not, you know, to be on death row and to know exactly when and where. Somebody poisons your well water. If you have well water, somebody poisons your well water. But you're protected from this. Sorry, guys. That was just down on Scott. But, um, fuck, what was I saying before that? Oh, but that's, like, it's one thing to know, like, to be in prison for the rest of your life, okay? Um, but it's another thing to be on death row and to know exactly when, exactly what time and how you're going to pass away. You know what I mean? So, you know what I mean? Like, at least, like, I don't know. So, they're... They're trying, they're all telling on each other about this. But they don't even realize their fucking main person or their second to highest person is actually an officer. And they have all the evidence in the world to, to actually give them all the death penalty. <laughs> but again, yeah, you're, you're, if you have a well, 
they could have poisoned your death. Somebody definitely poisoned the well water, or they tried to um, poison your your water line. Like, you know, even if it's not well water, but there is something about a well. All right, because, like, right now, this well is, like, it looks like it's glowing to me. It's, like, it's really getting my attention, and it's looking like it's glowing green. Like, I'm thinking, like, uh, like uh, radioactive, you know what I mean? And looking at the green going around him, it's like more make, it's making me think of radioactive. Something like radioactive. And like Yellow Wolf's radioactive. Listen to that album. I love that album. I love every album from Yellow Wolf. They try to they could have tried to give you radiation poisoning or some shit. But you're protected from it. Somebody could have green eyes, you or them. Somebody could be an artist. Like a confirmation. Uh you could be like an artist, you could draw, you could paint, you could um, be a singer or a dancer, some sort of artist. Something about art is here. Somebody's name could be art. Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, Angels, Ancestors, and all the Spirit. What does the card do you know what they need to be better? Somebody could wear a fanny pack, like real wrap. Page of um, Pentacles here. Oh, sorry, guys. I'm gonna move this. Page of Pentacles. Um, you're gonna be getting a message about this. You're gonna be hearing about this soon. There's a cycle that's still open, okay? We have the world card. It's on the fence. It's more so in the reverse. There's something that's still open. Um, a cycle that's still open. Maybe it's this case. Um, it did go over top of the Ace of Cups. Maybe your divine counterpart is still closing a cycle um, with their family. That's what I'm getting because it's over top of the Ten of Cups as well. There could be karmic family either that you're attached to or your divine counterpart is attached to that they need to close out. It's still open. But it's come to their awareness. They know this. Or you know it intuitively. And like either you're working on it or they are. You know, it's 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 on its way there. It's you know, it's not fully in a reverse. It's in it's more so in the reverse. It's more like this, like, but it's more so in the reverse. Like it's starting to if the if the world card's going from the reverse to like it's it's like right here like it's oh got a little bit more to go but it's almost there there's something open there like and i'm showing getting it. it's either you or your divine counterpart that um needs to close something out with karmic family and they're you or them are working on it and they're still spying on you somebody's still spying on you and on your investments and shit they're still, it's still, they're still trying to block your love. Your love is still open. Where they're still trying to block you, your investments. They're still trying to block your, uh, you know, your love offer. Um, they're still being childish. They're still spying on you. They're still, they're still trying to, you know, steal this inheritance from you. They're not stealing shit. You're getting it back. It's all been exposed. And they're still going through, you know, towers, chaos, destruction on people making from what they invested in. But they're caught, though. We have to hang in here. Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit. Angels, ancestors, almost passed away. What does that collective need to know? What they need to be aware of at this time, please and thank you. I have a lot of major on my planet down here. Devil. Got the devil card here. Followed by the three of wands in the reverse. Their ships ain't coming in yet. Alright, so these people in your ex is um and these people in devilish energy that are smiling in their face, tapping you in the back. There's something hidden too that they don't realize. Oh, maybe the devil collecting their soul. Remember, like I said someone's gonna get unalived by somebody that's like they think is their friend or somebody that they, they love and it's because you know it could possibly be your ex that's gonna happen to it's hidden they don't see this happening and these people in this cult club and secret society whoever in your karmic family um their ships ain't coming in what they thought 
what's going to come in for them. They thought they're going to get new beginnings off of your inheritance, off of your your pocket. That shit ain't happening. Whatever they stole from you, that shit ain't happening. They're also obsessed with, um, you know, causing you painful permanent endings. They're obsessed with causing, um, doing death magic, you know, uh, what do you call it? Black magic and shit like that. Um, and just causing you chaos, destruction on people and mayhem. Well, guess what? It, it's going back to them now. Alright, death, look. Damn, bro. I heard me. Damn, bro. It's a rap. It's a rap. Uh, alright, hold on. They wanted you to, yeah, you know, like I said, death magic. They they wanted you to have the last card was the three of wands and the reverse. So they wanted this for you. It's not happening. It's coming to them, and they intuitively know it's not happening. So this death spell they sent to you is coming back to them, and they're fighting amongst each other about this. Your ex, your ex is fighting with this group called Coven and everybody else. Maybe maybe your ex is fighting with this King of Pentacles or this, you know, um about this death magic or this queen of swords it could be your ex could be this king or something like that maybe your ex is like new person sent this death magic to you and they're fighting with them or your ex is the one that did it and they know or they could team they're definitely grouped up with you know multiple people to do this but uh they know it's not affecting you. It's going back to them. It could even be your ex might pass away, right? By their person. They don't see this happening either. They're going to get blindsided. They're smiling in their face, getting ready to stab them in the back. And it's not going to be a painful permanent ending. Like, it's literally going to be, they don't see this. Somebody's ex is going to get taken out by the person that they either left you for or they were with after they left you. Or after you left them, I mean. They don't realize that their person that they're with after they were with you, um, they were wearing a mask the whole time, just like your ex was wearing a mask with you. And I'm slowly getting, they're going to end up like, just like your ex tried to unalive you. Well, their person that they're with now is actually physically going to literally unalive them. And I'm getting that so deep in my heart. That's not for everybody, but that is definitely for somebody. And they don't see this coming. They're blinded to it. Because, yeah, it's what they wanted for you, right? And that's what they were planning to do. Your ex was sent in with, by your karmic family to get close to you and to unalive you. Well, guess what their karma's going to be? And they're doing death magic and stuff, and it's a backfire from death magic. So you best believe that's what's going to happen to them. Especially if they were teaming up with their new person that they, they, they were with after you to try to do death magic against you. They're going to go fucking bash you crazy. And, but I strongly feel like the person that they were with anyway this whole time was wearing a mask. Just like they played, just like your ex played you, well, was wearing a mask the whole time to try to unalive you. This is what's going to happen to them, except for their person's actually going to do it to them. Oh, they don't see it coming either. They do not see it coming. It's either their person they're with or like they're going to catch them cheating and they're going to end up, it's going to be because of them. They're going to catch them cheating and like the person, there's a fight's going to break out and they're going to end up on a live. Something like that's going to happen. Or they're just like, you know, they're the person that they're with planning on, was planning on doing this to them from the gate anyway. Something like that's happening here. That would make sense too because your ex was sending to do this to you. So their karma would be, you know. What they were planning to do to you, but even worse, they planned to do this to you, but it didn't happen. So, um, what would be worse than that to come back to them is having it actually happen to them. My ears ringing. What's this? My spirit angels, the ancestors, the world's past life. What does that cost you to know? Yeah, they're caught. We have the nine of wands here. Nine of wands. They're getting like some sort of ass beating. <laughs> Maybe they're gonna get bludgeoned to death. I don't fucking know. Three of swords. Decommissional pain. Okay. So they're under judgment for possibly trying to call like get you beat up or something like that. Maybe they you know, because remember again, this 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 guy's an officer. There's a cop that's involved here and it's actually undercover. Um they so they know all their plans, what they had against you. 
and this is another reason why, besides that, the fact that like, you have an appointment or you're late, um, you know, that shit, that could even be the hitman. The cop could be the hitman. The undercover cop could be their hitman. And doesn't really, maybe he doesn't really own, own the lives of people. Maybe he puts them in witness protection, but they think that he has all these bodies. But really, he could possibly really be like, you know, planning to go on a lot of these people's and um, fakes that I'm strongly getting this. And it like, you know, when he goes to do it, like he literally, you know, that takes a person like, look, this is what's going on. Um, I, you know, I was, I was hired to, I'm an I'm officer, I was hired to unalive you, I have to put you into witness protection and give you a different name. Something like that's happening. It's either somebody high up or it's their hitman. And he doesn't really actually learn to lie to his people, but they think that, that he does. They think that, like, this is why it's going to be, like, a slap in their face. They don't see this at all. Because they're like, how the fuck could that? They would never think that this person would be um, a, a officer because, the, to them, this person has, like, a bunch of bodies under their belt. But they really don't have any. They they uh, they uh pretend to unalive them. They might even take pictures and stuff, like, and make it set up to where it looks like that they're unalive. And they just... They put them in another state or another country. They put them somewhere in um, witness protection and give them a new alias and everything else. And then these people in this group called Coven think that they, this person unalived them, but they didn't. Something like that's happening. So this hitman would know what their plans were. And this is why you're still alive. It's because he was never going to do it. Because he's a cop. And he's actually protecting you. So he knows all their, what they had intended for you. And they know that they're planning on getting you, you know, uh, I just heard beaten and raped, um, to DEA, you know, to, 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 to unalivement. They're in deep emotional pain about this. Uh, so they can't sleep at night. Yeah, the fucking nine, damn, nine swords over, I mean, three swords over the top of nine swords. They're in deep emotional pain. And they're like, that's deep, deep emotional pain, okay? Um. They're like crying and look and the eight of swords at the bottom of the deck of the prisoner. All right, so yeah, they're getting they're in deep emotional pain. They're up all night crying, and this is double deep emotional pain. Okay, the nine of swords is up all night crying in, in deep emotional pain over you, but the three of swords is deep emotional pain. And but look at it, this is how disgusting these people are. Um, they're in deep emotional pain, up all night crying over you, and, and like double deep emotional pain over what they stole from you and have to release it to you. How fucking disgusting is that? They're such fucking losers. They're going to prison for this. You're the star. Ten of Wands are heavily burdened. About them going to prison and you being very healing. And you get you're this is literally gonna make you famous. This this is literally gonna make you famous. This is a fucking crazy ass uh this is like a movie just like, you know, just like that just like that movie I was just talking about. Donnie um like, literally, you can turn your life into a movie. There's an idea. Just think about all the crazy shit that we've been through. Literally, like, just think about everything we've been through. If you turn that into a book or a movie, it'd be the bestseller. Do it. Nine of Cups. You're getting ultimate wish fulfillment. Because you've been very patient. You're an Earth Angel. Ace of Pentacles and Sun card. Damn, bro. You're getting ultimate wish fulfillment. You know, you're getting your divine counterpart. Like, you're, an, you're an Earth Angel. That's why you're getting that. And everybody sees this. Everybody knows this. You're getting your yin to your yang. But also, your divine counterpart is an Earth Angel as well. You're getting this passion new beginnings with um, Ace of Pentacles. It's like money, um, finances, materialistic stuff. And they've been exposed for every year. And they're going to have happiness, joy, um, and everything else. And they've been exposed from everything they did unto you. Uh, and, and about them trying to steal your yeah, everything. Everything has been exposed. And you're getting good luck, fortune, um, and they're getting bad karma. They're getting good karma. They're getting bad karma. Holy Spirit, the Spirit, the Holy 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 Spirit, It comes, it's talking about walking away. This could be your ex that's definitely um, 
in deep emotional pain, they actually are like upset with losing you, knowing that it is actually a painful permanent ending with you. Because now that they're that you're gone, they didn't realize what they had until it's gone. And now it's gone and they realize it was very permanent. You want nothing to do with them anymore. But you walked away from the devil. Like, literally, you, you, you walked away from this fucking devil. These people are trying to, they're also trying to walk away from this devilish energy. And they're trying to release the devil um, in their devilish ways. You have somebody that's wanting to do that. Uh, we have the Six of Wands. You're getting victory, success, public recognition, and fame. You are going to get fame out of this. This is, is going to, you know, you're going to make, you're going to be famous because of this. Queen of Wands. You got the power. You're very heavily burdened about this. You're very beautiful inside and out. Handsome. You're very beautiful. You're very handsome inside and out. Um, you're very powerful. You get the attention every everywhere you go. Now. No spirit finds you. And also this cop that's getting, you know what I mean? That this undercover cop, this earth angel that's taking his whole that's deep undercover. He's getting uh public recognition and fame. Like he's gonna become famous because of this as well. But I feel bad because like this person is in deep mush like he is heavily burdened from what he had to see, what he had to do. Plus he also got like close to these people. I feel like. Like he ended up like, you know, getting a relationship like he got to know you know what i mean but so it's gonna be like i feel bad what he has to go through i understand i like by looking at all angles um he got to meet like you know some of them on a personal level too but you know it's, it's just a fucked up like spot for him he's gonna need therapy like and i'm being that serious and like my, my heart goes out to him like for real um he could, I feel like he's going to retire after this. He might not even be that, like, he could be, you know, he might not even be that much older, but, like, I feel like he's going to end up retiring after this. And after being, like, undercover for that long, um, I, I strongly believe that you can, I think, uh, or something like that. Yeah, we have the Queen of Pentacles here. You're getting victory, success, public recognition, possibly fame. Um... The, and, and no, you are getting fame, sorry. And whatever towers that these that this group cold club and whatever this is has put you through, um, out is gonna put you into this sorry, this uh Queen of Pentacles, okay? If you're not there already. Um, where you're very liable, very responsible, you're you have plenty of money to pay your bills and plenty of money left over. And um like for some reason, like this is like your ex or somebody, these people in your past, they're like and deep emotional pain about this. Like, it kills them to see you winning. Well, uh, they better get used to it because that's all you have. That's all you are doing is winning. You ain't got time for losing. That's all for, your, for the rest of your life. You're winning. You're winning because you deserve it. You know? You ain't a loser. You ain't never been a loser. You ain't ever gonna be a loser. You always were a winner. You're very strong. You're very powerful. You're very courageous. Um, and you've always been a winner. These people just did everything in their power to possibly, uh, you know, to make you feel like you weren't, and to make it look like you weren't, or to discredit your name and everything, but you've always been this winner. You deserve this fucking public recognition, and this victory, success, public recognition, and fame. You 1 million percent deserve this. And you're getting it. Fuck what anybody thinks or says about that. I'm proud of you. God's proud of you. Angels, ancestors, no one's passed away are so proud of you. And you should really be proud of yourself, too, because, like, for real, for real, you know, you've been through a lot of shit. And most of these scumbags would never, all of them put together, would not be able to, to go through half the shit that we, we went through. You know what I mean? Fuck them. And they know it, too. Yeah, you healed from whatever this is. And this office is going to heal, too. Um, cause you, like you're protected, you're both protected, heavily protected. Shit, you might fuck around and find out that this fucking this officer is your your twin flame or something. That might be for somebody. I don't know. Or you're gonna be like family. For some of you, that just might be the case. That might be your actual twin flame, or somebody that's gonna be like family to you. You know what I mean? Like, you're gonna, you're gonna have a very, um, close relationship after this. For sure. 
whether it be like a relationship or a friendship or like family you know what I mean? you're gonna be like if it's a friend it's gonna be more like family to you you know what i mean you're gonna be for for somebody that might actually be your fucking point of flame you might end up with this person Somebody's that also out here praying for protection. Eight of Wands. From this backfire. Because they're watching you and they see whatever they sent to you, this death magic they sent to you, isn't affecting you. So they're pr actually praying to God for once instead of the devil. They're praying for um, protection. From this backfire. Also, pray for this officer, too, for his healing. Because he's been through a lot, dude. He's been through a lot, and he has... I feel bad for him. And remember, he's an earth angel. He's not bad. He was sent in to dismantle his, his people. Confirmation. You might not even know him. But you're gonna, you're gonna know who he is. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, angels, ancestors, all passed away. What is the outcome? Um... What's the outcome of the situation that's making? Ace of Pentacles, baby. What they stole from you is a lot of fucking money. It's a lot of money. And also, with this, it's like, you're gonna sue so many people involved in here. Same with this cop. Like, you two are gonna be rich. This cop and you, you are gonna be fucking rich. You are gonna be set to fuck. You are gonna be set. You know, I don't know how that works for them. Like, they get, I know they can, I'm pretty sure they can retire or something like that. I forget. Um, I don't, I'm not really sure how that, that, that works out. But you ain't ever going to have to work another day in your life. Ever. Like, the only time you're working is if you, like, just because you want to. You know what I mean? Um, just doing God's work, what God sent you here to do, your purpose. You know what I mean? But, like, you're going to be able to do something also on the internet. You're going to be doing something on the internet or around the world. Maybe traveling around the world, talking to people. Uh, maybe being, like, some sort of, like, life coach or uh, helping people with um, going through similar situations as you that you've been through. You know what I mean? Something like that. Maybe being, like, a life coach or if you, um, it's something around the world. Maybe helping children around the world. Something like that's happening. It's going to pay off a lot. Like, it's going to pay off a lot, too. It's going to pay you, you know, you're going to get compensated very, very well with this. Whatever this is. Or it could be on the internet. Something you, like, maybe have a platform. It's, but this platform's going to, if you have a platform, you know, this platform's going to bring you a lot of fucking money. And that's why they're in such devilish energy trying to get you so hard to walk away from this. This is why they attack you and your spiritual gifts and, you know, your platform so much because they want so bad. They're obsessed with trying to get you to walk away from this Ace of Pentacles because they know what this is going to lead to. It's going to lead to extremely, like, you're going to, it's a lot. It's a lot. Ace of Pentacles is a lot of money. Let alone what they stole from you. And then suing these people, you're never, like, literally, guys, you have no idea. You have no idea how your life is going to change dramatically. So whatever you do, don't give up. Just keep going. And the more they attack you, the more they leave bullshit comments on your, your platform or whatever. That just shows, guys. It just shows you're doing something right. Take it as a um, compliment. It's just confirmation. You know what I mean? Because you're the one getting victory status, pop recognition, and uh, fame. Like, literally, this is fame here. This is 1 million percent fame. Worldwide fame. And you're going to be able to do it. And they're so jealous because whatever this is, too, you're going to be able to do it at the comfort, uh, like, at your own home or, like, at your leisure. You know what I mean? And this is driving them batshit crazy. But you deserve it because, you know... Um, if you're anything like me, like, we worked our fucking 9 to 5, and, you know, we, we, let alone, like, first, we did so much in our time, let alone our 9 to 5 jobs, okay, that we've already put in the work, let alone, like, you know, the work we've done, um, you know what I mean, just here on earth, what we've done, like, what God has put us here to do, so now, it, God's placing us into this, um, position where we can be, you know, we can get paid in our sleep, okay? So, so I'm trying to get something on the internet, like a platform or something, or like where 
it's at the comfort of your own home. You could be in your house and like it's just on the internet. Something like that's happening, okay? And or if it's like you're traveling the world, like you're going to speak to people, but it's on your time, okay? So if you want to take a day off, you can. If you want to work, like you know, if you want to continue constantly working, you can. But it's it's at your pace, and you're still going to get paid. And it's something with your spiritual gifts that's leading you, like that you're doing this on. It's going to be on the internet, and it's like you know, it's with your spiritual gifts. But you're, it's at your leisure because you deserve it. You, that's what you deserve. You know, you, you, you've you been through the battle. You de you're still going through the battles. And, you know, you do it so gracefully. And you deserve it. And this is why they're they're attacking you so hard to get you to walk away. That shit ain't happening. We have the four of pentacles here. Whatever they're holding on to. It's been, you know, you're getting victory, success, public recognition, and, and fame over what they stole from you. That inheritance they stole from you. And then about also... Uh, Hold on. Just wait a second. Oh. That's the King of Pentacles. Okay, and the King of Swords, I mean. And they're holding on. And they're like, yeah. They're like holding on. They, they know they're, they're, they're passing any day. Some of these people are passing any day. Um. Yeah, you're going to be shocked when you find out about who this cop is. And I strongly feel like you might know him, and right now you fucking hate this motherfucker. But it's because you don't, but you're not going to. You had a lot of love, I feel like, for this person. But then you thought that this person was against you, but you're going to find out who he is. And you're going to like, oh my god. And it's going to feel like a relief, you know, like, oh, because this person he meant a lot to you at one point. But you didn't realize he just had to do his role. But you, you'll see the bigger picture. For some of you, so you don't even know who he is. But you're going to find out. And you're going to, like, you know, you're going to use your, you know, you're, you're going to be best friends. You're going to be family, pretty much. Or you are, but I don't fucking know. It's going to be different for you. The Knight of, um, the Knight of Wands here. You're going to be getting the message about this. Like, it's going to be an offer. Um, could be from the justice system, too, about what they're holding on to. You know, um, it, the, that money that was stolen from you. It's a lot of fucking money, too. Uh, you have a love offer coming in. They're a little nerve. I mean, be a solid love offer. I mean, coming in, that's holding on to you and only you. Your divine counterpart. You're manifesting this, and then it's from all your hard work. You're man like because all your hard work is paying off. So you get your love offer and everything else. These people are going to prison for what they fucking done to you, and it's like they're in a mental prison too from knowing that your manifestations are coming in. Um, somebody could be bald. Somebody that could be in prison right now is bald, or a bald person is going to prison. They're doing a lot of time. I feel like the person that's bald is um, telling on people. They're going to be hearing, like, a knock look. Like, the cops are going to be coming and lock them up any like, any day. They're going to be sleeping or something or just, like, chilling or something. And they're going to get the knock on the door, like, the thump, 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 thump. Like, it's going to be the police, thump, 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 you know, kicking the door in. Locking all these motherfuckers up. You're the star. They're heavily burdened about you being the star and you having your power, you being so powerful and everything else. All right. It could happen. They could be getting locked up at, what time is this? At 110 or... Yeah, at one ten, and either at night, in the, at p.m. or a.m. It could be one, it could be one o'clock, like one ten in the morning when the cops lock the like, kick the door in, or one ten in the afternoon. What time is it on here? Or it could be five o seven in the morning, or five o seven in p.m. Probably more so like five o seven in the morning, or nine. Wait, what time is this? This is twelve right here. At 10, I mean, sorry, 10.07, 10.07 in the morning, or it's 10.07 at night. Something's happened at 10.07, like, around 10, 10.07 a.m. or p.m., or when something's happening at, like, 1.10 a.m. or p.m. To these people that grouped up to go against you, so that's, like, either a time when someone's passing, Maybe someone's passing at 110 and like people are getting locked up at 
it's the, the, the three, and I'm looking at him with a shovel, it's making me think of like, you know, someone passing away, could be, and I'm looking at maybe that, that chick that's going to die from a heart failure or something, they, they could pass away possibly at 110 either in the morning or 110 at night, they could be getting locked up at 10 or 7, um, either in the morning or night, or uh, maybe another person will end up passing away at 10 or 7 p.m. or a.m. You're the Empress. You're all the queen. The body, the mind. You're very fertile, very creative. You have a lot of sacred knowledge. And you're moving forward and you're moving away with your divine counterpart. Or you're going to move and then meet your divine counterpart who is stuck on you and only you got the hangman. Um, and they're, you're both spiritual leaders. You're spiritually gifted. Use your gifts for the good. These, and there's something about a house here. Oh, six. There's a four of, um, and you, and you are going to have a happy, stable home too. And they see you as like their, their stability, you know, they see they can have this happy home with you. They want to be with you and only you. Somebody could be Irish. Somebody could have blonde hair, like bleach blonde hair or light blonde. Somebody could have like white, I mean like like uh wait like wavy, like wavyish, like or curly shape with um, blonde hair, white blonde hair or something like that. Six of Pentacles, you know, like you know, they see how generous you are. You're gonna get a blood you're you're gonna be getting a message, right? You're gonna be hearing about this. This is like a money offer. It's a gift from God, it's a blessing, it's a generous blessing, okay? We have the lovers, it might be this couple. That you're gonna get a payout or something, a generous payout for what they've done to you. I see the lovers here, but also like you're coming into union with your divine counterpart. Oh shit, what the fuck happened here? <laughs> oh my god. Um, yeah, they're being like they're watching you, they got their eyes on you. You're you're they're you're both very, you know, good looking, very powerful. But also I'm getting like this couple's being watched, okay. I'm totally getting that feminine's passing away at one of those times, or she might have already, I don't fucking know. Because the ace of truth has come out about them and who you are, like your divine counterpart knows who you are intuitively. They went and found out that one of you saying ace of truth about that you are their divine counterpart by pentacles. These people feel left out in the cold and from the, that you kicked out before or whatever. Somebody's getting kicked out or some shit like that's happening. Or they feel left out. Seven of cups here. You're going to have many opportunities, many, uh, you know, many opportunities coming your way, and they cast a lot of illusions, these people, a lot of, uh, death spells and shit, end to that shit, okay, they're all fighting amongst each other, doing chaos magic as well, your ex, this king of pentacles, three of cups, we're gonna have a reason to celebrate, uh, something about a queen of swords, you could be you, That could be you having your, your guard up. Your money's protected. You'll protect your single self sufficient and independent. Um, you know, this dumbass Leo is very foolish. <laughs> what they've done to you, you have your sword up against them. They're trying to do money blockages on you. Uh, whatever leap of faith you took, whatever new journey you took, is what's making you single self sufficient and independent. It's going to pay off generously, okay? Keep doing it, alright? You have the strength, okay? Another pen of here. You're going to get a promotion. You're going to get a promotion or a raise or something. Or, like, you're going to be, you know, you're going to you're gonna come, whatever you're doing with your spiritual gifts, like, whatever leap of faith, where did it go? Whatever leap of faith you took, whatever, um, I don't care. Whatever leap of faith you took, whatever new journey you, you're on, um, whatever you're doing with your spiritual gifts, like, you're going to be in this nine of pentacles here, single self sufficient, independent, your money's protected, you're protected, but you're also going to be getting, like, a, some sort of raise, or, like, you're going to get more clients or something, like, you're going to, or, like, you'll get, if you have a, um, you know, if you have a channel, you're going to get, like, donations or something like that's happening, all right, four of cups here, this is, like, people in the past, this Leo and everybody else involved, that, like, you cut off, they, they, they feel left out, because they are, they realize you're their gift from God, alright, they could be sending, um, monitoring spirits to you, um, ravens could definitely be significant. Oh, fucking hell. Something about New York as well, six of, uh, cops, you could be from New York, these people or somebody here, some, there's some secrets in New York. There's definitely some secrets in about a graveyard in New York. 
maybe that's where they're doing these fucking devil worship and shit, whatever. Something about a graveyard, deep, dirty secrets in, in the graveyard in New York. Or something about, like, a, a body in New York or something like that. It's going to be discovered. There could be something, or there could be a house in, in New York that has, like, a, these, um, uh, those wrought iron fences, a black wrought iron fence. There's a lot of secrets. That could be maybe you live in New York, and that's like if you have that well, because I'm looking at this as like that well. Maybe or you don't have to have a well. It could just be, you know, they could ask, maybe if you live in New York or something, maybe that's where they just oh, they could have a body in a well. Oh, I'm strongly getting this. I'm strongly getting. There's like some deep. It could either be a cemetery, or something about a cemetery, or I'm strongly getting. They could have hid a body in a well in New York. But there's something, some deep dark secrets about New York and something to do with a grave or, or a death in New York. There's something hidden in New York that about something with a, something to do with remains or somebody get dumped or, or dug up or something like that, either in a graveyard or in a well. Something, something went about long, um, something about that, or like a, something, or a dumpster, or something. It could definitely have a, a, uh, a, a rod iron fence around it. It could be a, like, a rod iron fence that's, like, breaking, that's, you know, um, breaking, like, pushed over a little bit. They could have broke into a cemetery in there, and dug up some remains, and do some rituals on you. They could have broke a, like a gravestone um, when they were digging up for me. Some shit like that's happening. But it's in New York. There's some deep ass dark um, secrets about that. And I'm strongly getting they hid a body in a well. Possibly in New York. And if it wasn't in New York, it's somewhere. So there's, a, there's definitely a body hidden in a well somewhere. And it's going to come to surface. Confirmation. Emperor. Why are my cards sticking together? Your Emperor sees you as your Queen of Cups. Somebody could definitely wear like those long like peak coats or long trench coats. Every time I see this card, I always think of Elon Musk in this deck. Mad love to Elon. Two one um two ones. You know, your emperor's just planning, you know. You or your emperor, whatever, you put the roles where they fit. You're planning your whole new world, um, and they have their eyes on just you, okay? Somebody could definitely have green eyes. Somebody could also have a lazy eye. I never noticed this before, but he looks like he has a lazy eye. No shade, there's nothing wrong with that. I'm just saying I never noticed that before. See? It's like left eye is. I never noticed that before. I don't know if y'all can see it. The same my switch face is running out. Do you see what I'm saying? That could be an indicator for one of you guys. Maybe you do, or maybe um, somebody involved does. Somebody could do like that side cut. I love that side. Oh, the guys when they have that side, that you know, the side part. I love that look. Six of Swords. Oh, sorry. You're moving. You're moving. It could be across a body of water. Five of Cups. These people are in deep emotional pain, grief, sorrow, agony. Um, about you moving away. And you getting ultimate wish fulfillment. Because you're a whole earth angel. Somebody could have really long hair. I never knew this. That's her hair. Somebody could definitely have really long hair. Alright, um. We have the Four of Swords and the Seven of, um, of, of uh, Wands. Okay, so God heard your prayers. They're being answered and you're, you're protected. You're healing and you're, um, you're heavily protected. And I'm strongly, again, I'm getting, uh, 
pray for this officer, okay? Maybe this officer's praying for you also and protecting you. Eight of Wands. It's coming in. Your prayers are being answered. Your um, it's coming in. Your you know protection from this whole group, whole company. It's coming in quick. It's happening in Daniel. All right. They're being watched, or they're um, you're gonna be they're they're uh getting a message about some some sort of knowledge or something soon about these pentacles. Yeah, ten pentacles. This inheritance. You're getting justice. Okay, God's balancing everything out. Because uh, the wheel of fortune's here. You know, you're getting good karma, they're getting bad karma. Someone could play, like, uh, what's that called? Poke. What's that called? Um, Rummy, or whatever that's called. Somebody can gamble. They've been exposed. And I'm telling you, this is that exposure and that, whatever's going on in that graveyard, that New York thing. Uh, some of that, it's being exposed. They're going to find that body. It's either something going on in a graveyard that they're maybe digging up graveyards in New York or something like that. Stealing, ske like, steal, like I said, stealing the remains, like the skulls and shit. They're going to get caught up with this. That's some sick fucking shit. It could happen in, like, the, the north, you know, the north or the south, or south, you know, somewhere around there. I'm sure only getting that. Maybe that's what that is about that great in New York. They could have broke the fence down, right? They could have broke the fence, a wrought iron fence in New York. Where the fuck that car go? They could have broke the fence to go in to steal the remains. Is like the skulls and shit to do some sort of ritual on you, my darling. But fuck, I don't know where that card went. And they the seal, like I see the shovels here, see the coffins right here. Like that's where I'm getting this from. Where the fuck they go? Here it is. And that's New York, right there. You see the moon behind it. They're gonna fuck around and find out because one of these could be like like just you know that cop that knows about this undercover cop so there's gonna be great robbing and shit going on they could even put a body inside of a grave or some some weird shit they could because remember i was saying a well there's gonna be a body found in the well maybe they dug somebody up and put a body hit it hit a body inside of a grave or some weird shit and like took the body like they're like whatever for whatever that's called those that black magic